What's going on, Vinyl community? Welcome to another Sunboxing with the Record Spinner. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Woodstock Back to the Garden 5 LP box set. Um, I showed this off in my June Vinyl Haul video, and some people were asking me to do a video on this, and I am finally getting to it now, uh, as I feel that this box set is a perfect candidate for the Sunboxing series. And uh, like I mentioned in my Vinyl Haul video, I got this box set for the grand price of zero dollars that's right completely free and it's quite easy to get this box set for free because i uh got this through the rhino insider which is a rewards program that is run by the label rhino records where basically you do all these various tasks like you listen to their podcast you watch videos on their youtube channel you follow artists on, Sp on uh, spotify that are on rhino's roster all kinds of things and as you do these little activities you build up points and you can redeem those points for prizes and you can choose from a whole variety of prizes there's a tote bag a rhino sticker a 20 percent off voucher you can even get a u-turn turntable or hell if you get like 650,000 points you can get a round trip to rhino's headquarters in california which is absolutely crazy uh but the prize that was the most appealing to me was the Woodstock box set. And I think around April was when I got enough points to redeem to get this box set. And of course, COVID was going on, so things kind of got delayed. And I didn't receive any shipping notification until I got uh, an email from uh, the United Parcel uh, Service that a package from Warner Music Group was going to arrive. And I know that uh, Rhino is owned by Warner. So sure enough, the next day it came, a package arrived at my door, and sure enough, it was this box set. So it only takes a little bit of your time to do all the various tasks that are needed to um, to build up to, I think it's like 15,000 points to get this box set. It's definitely worth it because, you know, something that is of over $100 plus uh, is definitely worth uh, getting for free if you can just sacrifice a little bit of your time to do the various tasks. So enough of the chit chat. Let's jump into what this video is all about. And just like so, I will be switching angles. Okay, so here is the box itself, which is beautifully designed, very colorful and vibrant, uh, with pictures of the audience as well as various performers, which is quite nice. And then it opens up from the top just like this. And there's like a little magnetic piece on the bottom, which kind of snaps it right in place. And the first part that we're going to dig into is the book that is featured within the set. So I'll place it right here. And we have a nice bit of design there, contents, and uh, this book is filled with liner notes by various writers, as well as photos taken by uh, Henry Diltz, who is a rather infamous photographer from the late 60s, early 70s, uh, took photos for The Doors, uh, Buffalo Springfield, and Crosby, Stills, and Nash, all kinds of stuff. So we have very nice pictures of the festival and then we also have some scans of the uh, tape boxes from the recordings from the festival which is quite cool there's Joan Baez there and here we have uh, John Fogarty with uh, with Credence Santana as well canned heat right here then we have Janis Joplin we got uh, Sly and the Family Stone Roger Daltrey from The Who and Joe Cocker Check out that hippie van. It's pretty wild. I'll give you guys some close-ups of some of the photos. There's uh, Richie Havens there. It kind of breaks down all the performers and their respective time slots. Describes all the performances. There's Janice there. And then here's the Grateful Dead. There's the Who. And then we get to the very end of it, and we have various uh, pieces of paperwork which break down uh, 
um, which artist uh, got paid in terms of which amount. And then we have some uh, newspaper headlines. These I find absolutely hilarious. Hippies mired in sea of mud. Traffic uptight at Hippie Fest. It's pretty funny. And then this uh, part breaks down the contents of each of the LPs, which I will get to as I show you the individual LPs. All right here. And then this is like a map of the of the farm that was used for Woodstock. And as you see, that's the main stage area. And we have all these other components of the field. And there you go. Very nice booklet indeed. And the first thing I'll show is this is the backing sheet. Now this was on the back of the box while it was still sealed. So this kind of just came undone as you took the shrink wrap off, which just breaks down the contents of the box set. And then on the back is where I placed the hype sticker, which was on the shrink wrap right there. And then we get to the first LP. Now each LP is housed in its own nice custom jacket, which is very nicely designed. And here is what is on the first LP. So we have Richie Havens, uh, Tim Harden, Arlo Guthrie, Joan Baez, Country Joe McDonald, and Santana. All the records come in nice um, poly-lined sleeves, and the records themselves come with these nice uh, custom labels. Um, all the records were pressed over at Optimal in Germany, and this was also mastered by Chris Bellman, so uh, this is absolutely going to sound wonderful. Chris Bellman always does a good job with his mastering. Put the records back, and then we're gonna get to the second LP, which looks just like this. And on this one, we have uh, John B. Sebastian, Can't He, and then a whole side of Grateful Dead. There we go, nice custom labels once again. Everything about this box set is beautifully designed. How unique all the records are, the individual sleeves that they're housed in. Um, just an absolutely top-notch quality uh, job in terms of the packaging and the artwork. Here is record three. And on this one, we have uh, Credence, Janis Joplin, and then we have a whole side of uh, Sly and the Family Stone. And the labels basically match the color combo of um, the respected sleeve that it's housed in. And then we'll get to the other two LPs. Here is record four. On this one, we have The Who, Jefferson Airplane, Joe Cocker, and Ten Years After. Then we get to the final LP of the sets. And on this final one, we have The Band, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, as well as Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, and the Butterfield Blues Band, and Sha Na Na. And then last but not least, now this, granted, this isn't exactly part of the box set, but I included it in here for obvious reasons. This is my certificate for, for being a Rhino Insider and having a Rhino Insider reward. Granted, it's nothing spectacular. It's printed on standard A4 computer paper, but it's something nice to have, and I have it included uh, inside of the box as a simple reminder that this was indeed my reward.
As you can see, this is an absolutely beautifully designed and curated box set. Now, as you can obviously tell, not all of the acts that performed at Woodstock are represented in this box set. Like there's no Hendrix and whatnot. And other artists have released the entire performances of what they did at Woodstock um, under various releases. But if you're looking for a nice sampler of various artists that performed throughout the festival, this is a very nice collection to own. Covers a little bit of everything, as well as having um, the various in-between banter uh, between the acts. So it kind of gives you like the sense that you're there. Um, it's an absolutely wonderful collection to own to commemorate three days of peace, love, and music. So there you go. That is the box set. So there you guys go. That is my unboxing of the Woodstock Back to the Garden 5 LP box set. I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. And if you did, please go ahead, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel, be sure to check me out on Patreon. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep the record spinning.